Hello, hockey fans. I'm Kevin Ripa, and this is My Sands 3 Minutes Max. Today, we're going to be talking about jump lists. Jump lists are another quick win artifact that we love to use in our forensic investigation because jump lists will show us uh, files and folders and activities that the user has performed uh, historically, previously and they will survive the deletion of the file itself. So even though the file may not exist anymore, this activity shows that a file did exist and that it was interacted with. Now, just to give you an idea of where the jump lists come from, down on your taskbar, you see a number of different icons. And uh, when we right click on the icon in the taskbar, we can see uh, some, some function tabs where we can cause things to happen. But we also have a list of historically what was accessed using this application. Now you didn't have to access it from within the jump list for it to populate this list. Uh, but as you can see, it's there. Uh, even when you get to things like the Word, uh, Microsoft Word list, you see that there's, there's six documents in this case. So where do these things live? Well, if we open up uh, uh, File Explorer, we go to uh, users, pick a specific user because this is a user specific artifact. We'll go into app data, roaming. And now the reason that I'm drilling down to show you uh, manually where this stuff is, isn't just to waste time. It's to show you that you can't believe what Microsoft is showing you. Because right now we're inside the recent items folder and it shows us that the folder is empty. But in fact, our jump list artifacts are inside here. We just can't get there from here. We have to go there manually. So I can come to uh, this location and type automatic destinations, and it's going to show me the contents of my jump list. Now these are the automatic jump lists. There's also custom jump lists, uh, but we'll just uh, stick with these ones for now. Now each of these that you see listed here, this weird long number, this is something called an app ID. And each one of these app IDs refers to a specific, um, a specific application like Microsoft Word or Firefox or, or whatever the application might be. And inside each one is a list of the files that you visited using that application. And so when you saw the pop-up list on the taskbar, that's what's contained inside each one of these dash MS files. Now, a little trick here, we, we want to play with these and we want to use a tool called Jump List Explorer to do it, but we need to be at the command line for this. So to get to the command line quickly, I am going to leave it right here and show you tomorrow a little trick that so many people don't know about getting to the command line from here. So in the meantime and in between times, that's it. Another episode of 3 Minutes Max.